Knock, knock. Oh, boy, I love these. Who's there? It's me, Don. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Don who? Herb, we've been here together in the South Pole all these years. We live in the same igloo. We're the only ones up here, and you forgot who I am. I didn't forget who you are. I thought it was a knock-knock joke, and I was trying... Oh, forget it. Turn on the show. Night. The national sport on Nauru, a tiny Pacific island, is lassoing birds in flight. Oh. Who are you? I'm Beekman, and you've just flown into Beekman's world. Sounds good. You wear the oven mitts, and I'll bring the egg whisk. <laughs> yeah, over easy. <laughs> hey, hey, make that to go. I need a question. Liza, gale me, and then regale me. Elizabeth Bueller of Nakusa, Wisconsin asks, Debbie, how do seeds become plants and trees? <coughs> Your question's really growing on me, Elizabeth. <laughs> we love all your blooming questions. And later on, we'll give you our address so you can send us some more. But in the meantime, in between time, let's draw a bead on seeds. Seeds, little miracles, life to go. Nature's hitchhikers. Here we see them hitching a ride on a breeze, flying through the air with the greatest of seeds. I'm not trying to cause a twig sensation. I'm just talking about my germination. Germanish, the Latin germinar, my alpha. In English, the sprouting of a new plant or tree from a seed is called germination. And here's how it works. First, a root grows out of the seed. A stalk appears and then leaves form. Eventually, it puts out flowers and new seeds. Those seeds are scattered around, and the cycle repeats itself. Wow! This thing is incredible! Inside, that little orchid seed is a complete do-it-yourself kit for building an orchid. But it is so tiny, it would take almost 13 million orchid seeds to make one pound. Okay, hey, thumbs up and out for that explanation, Beacons. And I'm dying to know more. But first, hey, Ray, send in the clowns. Hey! <laughs> Face facts, Beekman. You magnify a seed a kajillion times, and what do you got? You got a seed. Whoopee! It's a visual trip to nowhere, babe. Trust me. Without the clowns, we got puppies. Seeds are really important, Lester. Without them, there'd be no plant life on Earth, and, and for that matter, human life. Try to imagine a life without clowns, Liza. Take it from me, the clownless life is not worth living. So it's seeds for you and yours, but it's clowns for the rest of us. <laughs> Whatever their size, the important thing about seeds is that they're built for travel. And the wind isn't the only thing that, that spreads them around. Right, yeah, there's... Uh, 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 rivers. Yeah, rivers and streams. And animals. Yeah, yeah, and animals, yeah. This little bird, or cocklebur, sticks to an animal's fur. <laughs> like so. Or your socks, and gets carried away. Inside it are... <laughs> Inside it are seeds that start new plants wherever those seeds finally fall. Tell them about the bird. Tell them about the bird. Okay. <laughs> I think it's about time that I tell you about the birds and the seeds. <laughs> Ray, 
Send in the bozo scope, <laughs> the bogus scope. When a bird or another animal eats fruit with seeds, the seeds pass undigested through the animal's body and can be spread many miles away from where they were eaten. And what happens then? The seed takes root. The plant grows. Bada bing, bada bang, bada bloom. And now back to Beekman's world. Stop the insanity. It's time to calibrate your coconut. Oh, here he is, the druid of drollery, the Zoroastrian of Zip, the Kenneth Mars of the hearty oh, oh, horror oh, hearts. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the one, the only, the Beekman. You hear him? I'll scare him. Let's take a sea waltz. Buffet will be here all week. Alexander Bassick of Clintondale, New York writes, why are manhole covers round? Answer, manhole covers are round, so they can't be dropped accidentally into a manhole. A square-shaped cover could fall through, <laughs> like so. Same with an oval-shaped cover, <laughs> but not a circular-shaped cover. human fears. Answer, fear of speaking before a large group, fear of heights, and fear of insects. No wonder I was the only guy who took that gig speaking to a large group of insects on top of the Empire State Building. Best fact, although gold is one of the rarest metals, it was one of the first to be discovered. You know, Herb, I discovered gold once. Oh yeah, when? When you open your mouth. When I open my mouth? Yeah, there was a goldfish in there. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. Don't be coy. Ooh, question. Did King Kong and Don King ever do a... Whoa! I can feel it! Why, it's time for... The Beekman Challenge! Challenge. Lester. <laughs> Lester. <laughs> I challenge you. Two. Eat a dozen and donuts in one minute? Uh, no. I challenge you to knock back a chicken fried steak with double gravy. No, Lester. This doesn't involve food. Oh. Then it doesn't involve moi. Au revoir. It does, however, involve the paycheck with which you buy food. <clears throat> challenge away. <laughs> okay. I challenge you to blow up this balloon inside this plastic bottle. Beekman, you have no life, do you? You sit up nights thinking of ways to stump the rat. Come here. You have got to get out more. Now listen. I have a cousin. Oh, man! <laughs> Okay, not much to look at, perhaps, but have you checked your mirror lately? Would you please just blow up the balloon? You know, a woman's charms, and you wouldn't be this crabby. Mm. All right, I'm blowing, I'm blowing. <laughs> hey, no can blow. What gives, Beekman? This plastic bottle may look empty, but it is actually full of air. When you blow up a balloon, it pushes the air around it out of the way. But when a balloon's inside a bottle, the air around it can't be pushed out of the way because it has no place to go. Hence, bada bing, bada bang, bada hernia. <laughs> but if I carefully poke a little hole in the bottle, like this. The air inside the bottle now has a place to go. And, uh, bada bing, bada bang, but a blown up balloon. Coming up next, we span the world to cover bridges. We hope we can get our ideas across. Beekman's world will be back in a flash.